What's going on YouTube? Kevon Moore here, back with another little video. And as you can see from the title, I'm going to talk about and explain why I feel like I think I may have fucked up my trucking career, but at the same time, I know I did it. So, did I fuck up my trucking career? Well, when you get into trucking, there's a lot of things that you're going to have to sacrifice. You have to understand that you are going to be away from home. You have to understand that you are going to be away from friends. You have to understand that you are going to be away from family members. You have to understand that you are going to miss out on a lot of shit. A lot of parties, a lot of get-togethers, events, clubs, fun. All the basic shit, right? <clears throat> so, now that I've been out of the industry for, for going on a year, what have I been doing with myself? <clears throat> well, I got my real estate license, give thanks and praise. And I haven't made a fucking sale or a fucking close yet. You understand? And I have a daughter going on four years old. So, it wasn't the best decision for me to get out of trucking the way I did. Why? Because I have a fucking four-year-old that I have to provide for. And one thing that I've come to realize is that it's okay to be selfish when it's for you and your personal growth and your your development as a human being, as a person, as an individual. It's okay. But when you have to think for another person's life, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Not impossible, but more difficult. Therefore, I don't feel like I fucked up my trucking career in its entirety because I'm able to get back on the road. You understand? Also, sorry. <clears throat> also, um, my mentality. My mentality when I'm in trucking versus when I'm not in trucking. And the habits that I constantly see myself in and the patterns and you know just being super duper reflective as an as a as an individual right so when i'm on the road i'm reading more i'm meditating more i'm praying more i'm i'm i'm, I'm being in tune more all while making money i'm learning more i'm learning about myself i'm journaling i'm 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 self-reflecting i'm being a lot more reflective I'm, I'm in tune with myself i can talk to people whenever i choose to be sometimes i'm off the grid sometimes i'm not you know, I'm really like I'm, I'm really in truth just a fucking phone call away. Now, depending on my mood and at the time, I may answer, I may not answer. You feel me? That's just what it is. Sometimes you cannot answer everyone's phone calls or answer everyone's texts, given the fact that you may be in a situation where you're learning and you're growing, and you need that time to be alone and be reflective and be for yourself at first, you know, as opposed to answering every single phone call. And now like, you're like, you're, you're, you're fucking, you're, you're basically like caught up in just nonsense of what's the fuck is going on at home or, 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 or in the family or on the block. And like those, some things, a majority of those things do not help nor contribute to your self-development and your growth as an individual. Therefore, if you continue to partake in it, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to move to the next fucking level. You feel me? And when I'm home, given the fact that I've been out of trucking for almost a year, maybe nine months to a year, somewhere around that time frame, I have to like literally see when uh, I stopped. But um, when I'm home... I, I, or I fell back into the habits of drinking and of smoking and of going out more and, 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 and all these, I wouldn't call them necessarily negative things because these are things that people do, whether they're conscious or unconscious of, of them, that they do literally maybe just to have fun. But I know that I'm not the individual who just wants to pass my 20 fucking, uh, my twenties by and like not have a solid or be building and working towards a solid, firm foundation so that I'm set up in about 10 years or less. By the time I'm 40, I need to be in a different space. I need to be in a different environment. I need to be in a different um, place financially. You feel me? And, you know, and, and it's just, it really and truly is a mentality. I noticed that when I'm, a, when, when I'm in the hood, I have the hood mentality, even though I may... You know, read a book here and there, watch a YouTube video here and there, watch a YouTube 
uh, documentary here and there, gain knowledge here and there. For the most part, like 75 to 80 percent, maybe even a higher percentage, for the most part, I indulge in hood activities. I find myself watching TV a lot more than I'm fucking used to and comfortable with. I find myself uh, wanting to play video games a lot more than I'm comfortable with. I find myself engaging in pointless and needless fucking conversations more than I'm comfortable with. I find myself spending money more than I'm comfortable with while not having steady income coming in. (laughs) You feel me? It's like when I'm back home, I'm like almost suffering from a lack of discipline that trucking gives me a little bit more while I'm on the road. You feel me? I journal less. I eat less healthy. I am a lot less in tune with my spiritual side. You understand? Um, I, I, I have to fucking fix my fucking, like, my priorities, man. And that's just real shit. So did I fuck up my trucking career? Police outside. <laughs> the Bronx is crazy. But, um... Did I fuck up my trucking career? I don't think so. I think that I messed up it to a point where it's like, if I don't fucking check myself, I could fuck it up. And if I if I don't go back with a different mental state, a lot more humble, a lot more just, you know, refreshed, a lot more uh, easy, really and truly, you feel me? Like, Because I had an accident and I got fired from two or three companies, which isn't fucking good. It shows that to a certain extent, I have a fucking problem with commitment. I have a difficult time with picking something and committing to it. Whether it be a career, whether it be a relationship, whether it be just anything in my personal life. I notice that I have a difficult time when it comes to committing to things. And you feel me? And you may struggle with the same thing. But it's okay as long as you're aware of it and as long as you make changes on a daily basis to try to overcome those things. So I'm excited that I'm able to go back on the road really, really soon. Um, I just want to approach trucking now from a different angle. I want to understand that, okay, I have commitment issues and the only way for me to actually get over this hump or this delay or this obstacle is to actually fucking commit to trucking. And commit to the short-term goals and the medium-term goals and the long-term goals that I set forth for myself. Because trucking is an industry that you don't need a high school diploma. You don't need college credits. You don't need a degree. And it can be fucking lucrative because it's a common sense industry. There's no reason why I can't become an owner-operator within a year or two. There's no reason why you can't become a motor carrier within a year or two of being an owner-operator. After you, you know, you have made your connections and you learned your lanes and you saved up money and you know you're being humble and you're being wise with your earnings and all of these things and you're making your plan work and you're working your plan and you're making your plan work for you. I learned that from HT Logistics 3434. Shout out to him. But there's no fucking way that you shouldn't be able to make a hundred and a hundred to a hundred and fifty thousand after a couple of years of actually learning, being attentive, being uh, 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 super duper just um, attentive and paying attention to detail and paying attention to just, you know, your fucking craft. There's no reason why you can't jump in this industry without any fucking experience and say, okay, two years or three years or whatever the case may be, I want to become an owner operator. I have a mechanic. I have studied, you know, engines like Cats and, you know, uh, and Cummins and Detroits. And, you know, I studied my lanes and I know with the areas and the states I'm going to run. I'm going to run, you know, Northeast. There's no reason why... I can't really humble my fucking self, get back on the road, apply the things that I've learned about myself while being off the road, and just becoming a fucking better human being, a better trucker, a better version of myself, so I can be a better version of me, but not only for me, but for the loved ones um, as well, you feel me? It all starts with just the mentality. So I'm not going to come on here and tell you I fucked up my trucking um my career. I won't say that because I don't want to put that energy into the universe. And we have the power to speak things into existence, whether positive and or negative. You understand. But I will say you have to be very cautious or I have to be very cautious with the decisions that I make 
just out of impulse. There's no reason for me to be at home fucking right now just not doing shit. Fuck the coronavirus, fuck COVID-19 and all these things. Like, there's no reason why I shouldn't be. If anything, truck driving right now, should I should have been on the road even more in high demand because a lot of things are going off the shelves and they need to be fucking re-piled and stocked. And truck drivers, we fucking run America. Without trucking, really and truly, America would fucking just... <laughs> that's just what it is. From food to, you know, just your regular daily items... Just on the shelves at Walmart, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, all these places, CVS and all these pharmacies and anywhere else that you can think of to just, you know, like your, you know, your meats, your beer, your your pet food, your toilet paper. All those things come on trucks, whether you want to get a new fucking car or something. It comes on the fucking truck. Whether, you know, there's a, a project of construction just being built in your area. A lot of those times... Things are coming on trucks. You feel me? Point blank, period. And that's just what it is. So did I fuck up my trucking career in its entirety? No. However, I am being a super duper reflective on the decisions that I've chose to make. And they weren't the healthiest ones. They weren't the best ones. I had a golden opportunity. The very first time while I was in the industry, I fucked up the first time in terms of making bad decisions. However, I'm going to go back with a different understanding, with a humbling, with a a, a, a a sense of pride, a sense of joy, a sense of just relief that, okay, I have an opportunity here at 25 years old to make something of myself in a short period of time. There's no reason why the time I'm fucking 30, I shouldn't own my own truck, own my own trailer. It's fucking feasible, man. There's no reason why, you know, I can't have my own authority and become, um, you know, a uh, 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 a motor carrier where I'm making decent fucking money, but at the same time I have my own authority. Therefore, I'm I'm I I have the freedom to pick and choose when the fuck I want to run. You feel me? So did I fuck up my trucking career in its entirety? Absolutely not, because I'm going back and maybe I'm coming back with a vengeance. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on IG. And if you have a comment, leave it down below, and I'll do my best to answer everything. Stay woke. Stay healthy. Mental health is real. And, you know, just try to become a better version of yourself, all right? Peace, love, and all that good shit. You know what I mean? Bow! Bless.